Hey Wine Snobs, welcome to another edition um, of Wine Snob TV. Tonight, Crystal is here to help. <laughs> and today's video, today's episode is about sangria. 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 <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had sangria? I have, yes. When, I, I, where? When, how, where? What was it like? <laughs> the first time I had sangria was at Aioli downtown oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Sacramento. Yeah. Nice restaurant. Yeah, I love it. So good. Perfect on a summer day. Yeah. Oh, any time of the year, really, but perfect on a summer day. Definitely. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, do you remember what was in it? Ingredient wise, I don't exactly know what they put in it, but I'm guessing it's the normal yeah. stuff you'd put yeah. red wine, some sort of fizzy, sparkling, and I'm sure, tonic and, water, soda. And one time you, uh, you talked, you talked, you were talking earlier about, um, one of my uh, gatherings, my wine tasting parties, you showed up, you said you brought some sangria. I did. Um, and uh, you were, talk we were talking about, you know, how you made it and whatnot. Um, what did you put in your sangria? Do you remember? A lot of red wine, like just basic <laughs> yeah. table wine. Yeah. Um, orange juice, I think some Canada dry. Yeah. And for fruit, I I believe it was just oranges, maybe some apples, and a little bit of rum. Yeah. Actually, no, I think it might have been a lot of rum. <laughs> it, it ended up being really strong. It was way too strong. <laughs> I find, like, you know, a lot of places I go, the first time I had sangria was in uh, Madrid, Spain, when I was, I was there for college. Yeah. And, uh, and I remember it, it, it threw me off the first time. So, you know, the things the Spaniards do with wine is, sometimes like you know would kind of cause give me pause and like well, what are they thinking but turns out i liked it you know and they called it sangria and it was basically wine punch you know um and so that's how i actually started enjoying and indulging in wine started with sangria and then it's like well I'll just try some wine and and so i developed a taste for the wine itself you know through sangria um, so sangria is like the gateway drug. Yes, it was, <laughs> it was my wine gateway, <laughs> my wine snob gateway. <laughs> um, so, but over the years, I've always made sangria here and there. Um, I would make a pitcher of it, and I like to let it sit in the fridge for like 24 or 48 hours. You know, let the fruit integrate in there. Um, I still make it, you know, in a more what I would like to think is a more traditional style. Um, there's no hard and fast rules on how to make sangria, unfortunately, because then what happens is you get a lot of these strange concoctions people call sangria. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like jungle juice. <laughs> um, so, but you know, that's the fun part of it. You know, making sangria is fun. You take whatever's left. Um, I, I like to use uh, wines that I'll, if I, say if I do a wine review, that maybe doesn't make the cut or uh, I just have leftover wine from a previous night or something previous day uh, hanging with friends it's a, a great way to use it is to make sangria right yeah. um, so I was actually reading an article today and um, you know people do get really creative they'll use like a rosé or they want a sparkling sangria I mean yeah. there's really like you said there's no rules yeah there's no rules um, I know yeah there was a while there was a period I, I, I remember distinctly I'm not sure exactly when whether it was five ten years ago something where um, white sangria was like all the rage so they were basically using white wine and I mean that's cool that's cute but for me it's trendy for, yeah for me that was starting to cross the line into it's not sangria anymore <laughs> you know it's sangria you know it's, it's sangre. sangre it's supposed Red, to be blood, like blood. yeah yes. you know it's, you're supposed to use blood of the gods which is wine red wine so i'm i'm a bit of a sangria Puritan in that sense. Right. <laughs> I guess I'm a sangria snob too. <laughs> and if you stick with the red wine, then it's still kind of like you're drinking the real Jesus juice. You yes. Know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna keep it simple uh, tonight uh, for Sangria Day, which is uh, December 20th, I believe. That's what I uh, found. 
Oh, by the way, who? I wonder who. I need to do some research. <laughs> If anyone knows who came up with Sangria Day, December 20th, of all days in the year, leave them in the comments below, please. I'd like to know how, how that came about. Sangria Day should be every day. <laughs> well, yes, it should be every day. But, you know, we're sitting here and it's,、uh, what is it, like 40 something degrees or something outside. It's, it's, it's not exactly Sangria weather, but it's Sangria Day. So, and I promise myself that. I will make a video for every wine day of the year. I so I've、it. compiled like several dozen days of the year. So I have my work cut out for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I enlisted your help. I'm happy to participate. <laughs> <laughs> All right.、Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep it simple today with, with the sangria,、um, you know, using. Very straightforward recipe that anyone would probably have in their kitchen. We're using、um, the way I like to do my sangria is、uh, half of it is wine. So I just start with a bottle, and then the other half is orange juice. I split it between orange juice and、uh, something fizzy. So some, sometimes they'll use、uh, like a 7 Up or something like that to give some sweetness. In this case, I'm using.、Um, Uh, diet ginger ale,、uh, which works perfectly. That's how I've been doing it for a while now.、Uh, fruits wise, you pretty much want to stick with the basics oranges and apples. I've seen people put all kinds of stuff in sangria, and it's like now it's a college dorm fruit punch. <laughs> 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 Nothing against that, it's just not sangria anymore. <laughs> you know, they're putting, I think sometimes I've seen pe peaches.、Um, so. You know, that, that's, that's kind of okay. I remember when I was in Spain, I would see some sangria peaches, but it was mostly apples and oranges.、Um, and then, depending on your taste, I usually choose not to, but、um, depending on your taste, you would fortify it with like a brandy or a rum, something to that effect. Uh, some people again put all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> and really make it a jungle cheese. <laughs> <Yes. laughs>、um, it's supposed to be something light and easy and refreshing. But,、uh, so we're going to go with、uh, one or two shots. I'll let you decide. Two, honey.、Okay. Saturday night. <laughs> Don't go easy on me. <laughs> <laughs> something to consider. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> My bad. So we're going to go with two shots. Crystal decided already that this is the bare minimum two <laughs> shots of rum or brandy. In this case, tonight we have rum.、Um, and、uh, that's about it. So、uh, we're going to get busy. Cutting up the fruit, and、uh, we're gonna start prepping for our sangria <laughs> here. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, these. All right, so the way you wanna、um, typically cut, you know, there's again, there's no hard and fast rules.、Um, as far as the oranges are concerned, you wanna just leave, you can leave the skin on, and so what I do is I just Just cut it into sections like that. You're a pro at this. <laughs> <laughs> and then、uh, just, you know, you cut them to nice thin slices so they can get that surface area, you know, to integrate with,、uh, with the wine.、Mm, getting that, that, sit, that orange、it、is. So good. Yeah, it's filling <laughs> the air right now. The sangria is coming together.、Um, I、so. think my, my、um, taste buds are already salivating. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then the skins also lend a certain tartness you know, to it,、uh, so, which is nice.、Um, kind of helps the wine along because you're, you're kind of diluting it down with the, the soda and the orange juice, which itself is sweet. Some people add sugar in there, but I don't think it's necessary. Definitely not necessary. Yeah, I've never added sugar in my sangria. My waistline will thank you for not <laughs> adding the extra sugar. <laughs> All right, got it right. <laughs>、um, plus, yeah, it's something you still want it to be a little kind of tart and, you know, maintain some kind of interesting characteristic in there that kind of, you know, peaks the palate and keeps you sipping. Kind of like a, you know, good, bold, dry, Rioja, which is what,、um, speaking of wine,、um, I suppose we're supposed to use Rioja, right? Or Tempranillo. Or Tempranillo, Tempranillo. yes. Yes. yes.、Um, but Or you said technically it's a 
same. Yes, yeah, yeah Rioja will be Tempranillo from uh, the Rioja region. Um, so, but uh, yeah, um, uh, Rioja, uh, Tempranillo, you know, the dry wine, I think any dry wine will do, um, but in all fairness, any wine will do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I usually prefer to use more of a, like a bargain basement wine, so. I like a Trader Joe's two buck chuck or something. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> or I wouldn't go that low. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, um, I'll usually use, uh, you know, just like an everyday sipper. Um, don't use your reserve wine with sangria. Your special Zin, your artisan <laughs> wine. You went to wine country and and picked up. Um, you don't have to. Don't do that with sangria. <laughs> Any wine you really care about. <laughs> so tonight we're using a dry uh, red blend. Um, you know, and uh, that should uh, that should do the trick. Um, and so yeah, um, did you want to do the honors? Sure, I definitely can. <laughs> I'll and do the so. cutting and you can, um, you can load up. And my hands are clean. I've already, I've already washed them. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so for the apples, we kind of do the same thing. I'll cut them, you know. Quite a professional fruit cutter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you never, I you've never worked at a like a smoothie bar. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of practice making sangria over the years. <laughs> Go through a lot of wine and wine snob here, so <laughs> got to do something with it. I gen I tend to refuse to uh, to throw out wine, uh, just unless it's really bad, but. Uh, it's very rare that bad wine makes it into these premises. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I tend to hang on to wine regardless and make use of it. Cook with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Cook with it, drink it while you're cooking drink with it, it yes. you know, right. every way you can imagine. Um, oh yeah, my latest one is making barbecue sauces with it. So. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. So it turns out that uh, two apples, two oranges was a bit too much fruit. So for this recipe, use one apple, one orange. That's all you need. Um, and that's basically what we have here. Um, so do uh, you want me to hand me the bottle of wine? Sure. So we're going to start mixing it all in here. Um, we're going to start with the most important part here. We'll pour the rum in. Two shots of rum. That's the best part. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. It's all about the wine. <laughs> and uh, you can go ahead and just kind of mix it in there so you get a little bit of uh, get the fruit juices and essence. Get the infusion yes. started. <laughs> always ready for some wine. <laughs> Do you even have to ask me that question? That's why I hang out with her. <laughs> All right, so I think we're getting pretty close. Should we put the whole thing or save some room for the... Let's yeah. throw in the rest of the orange juice. Okay. And we'll add in the fizzy stuff and then we'll see what we're working with. Yeah. Well, Because that looks about half. Yeah. yeah, that's about half. So all of this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I think that's good. Yeah, so we're about, um, it's barely maybe a glass, less than a glass in there. And then we do this just for a little fizz to it. I love my bubbles. I oh, know. <laughs> Get a little crisp, refreshing. All right, I'm gonna mix it. the best thing I've done all day. <laughs> so uh, we'll put some ice in there? Yes. Just put a tray of ice basically to just keep it fresh. 
you want to go ahead and mix. It looks great and it smells fantastic. Yeah. Let's see here. I think I think it's gonna be a winner, but uh, we'll see. Least... I might be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Sangria. Salut. Mmm. <laughs> Refreshing. I like it. Like this it. takes me back to the first time yeah. I ever had sangria. Sangria. Mm. That is nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. You, you can't even pick out the rum. It's, hardly. Yeah. Hardly. <laughs> I mean, you could you Cheers. you could put a little bit more in there if you wanted to. I'm okay with that too. But it's great. <laughs> Where's the 151? <laughs> I would say a little more wine even. But no, this is what sangria. This is what sangria is. You yeah. know, hot summer day. Refreshing. Refreshing. Crisp. And ironically, even now on a winter evening, it's still just as good. I can sip this the rest of the evening. I agree. And, and not end And still up, be sober. Yeah. <laughs> and still jump off, hop off the train when I'm done. <laughs> I like it. So one of them, one of what a, you know, this requires a little bit of prep, but it's you know it's it's fun, and that's that's half the point of sangria is it's fun making it. So you get together with friends, family, and make sangria. It's fun. You enjoy it, and while you're doing it, all kinds of stories, you know, being told. Um, but then there's times where I'm kind of craving something like that. I don't necessarily want to go down the path of a full-blown wine even though I have no problem with that, but there's some days, even for a wine snob, um, what I like to do is I like to take one of the diet um, uh, uh, ginger ales and I'll do a half and half blend with wine and that. And it just gives me this quick and dirty sangria. sangria. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna make one for you right now and you can I've never done them side by side, okay. so we'll do a quick and dirty, just, all right, we can use the leftover wine. Just half and half. And this time you're using a peach mango sparkling seltzer water. Yes. Fancy. So it gives a, it still gives a little bit of that fruit essence and that fruit flavor. It's also quote unquote guilt free because <laughs> it's zero calories. So an idea for you, you folks out there saying, oh, I don't want to eat a bunch of fruit or drink a bunch of sugar. Especially during the holidays since I'm I sure we've all gained a little bit of weight. Right. <laughs> so we'll try this. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to see a reaction like, the, the hell is that? <laughs> That's it. It's not terrible. But you know, but yes, it can compare to a real. In sangria. a pinch, it could work, but definitely doesn't compare to, to the real thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know one thing that um, I I couldn't I could not get over for the longest time when I arrived in Spain was, have you heard of Calimocho? No. So there's a, there's a drink <laughs> okay. in Spain, it's called Calimocho. They have entire bars. It's a thing, it's like a Calimocho bar. So you what know, exactly, like have, what you know, like exactly You have like a hookah it? bar, okay. and you know, you, like it's, you have a Calimocho bar where you go and that's all they serve. Just pictures and pictures of this stuff. Okay. It's essentially 50-50, like a cheap red wine. Really cheap. A two buck chuck will excel in this. Okay. That <laughs> sounds like a hazard. 50 <laughs> 50 wine and then like Coca Cola or Pepsi Cola. That's it. Okay. It is the most interesting. I've heard of the drink. 
Yeah. I mean the ingredients, but I didn't know that was the name. Yeah. yeah. It took me a while to acclimate to that, but they were, that's a lot of like young folks. That's all they'll do. Like, college kids you know would just like grab them and run to a park so it's like the equivalent of college kids here settling for like a Pabst beer yeah. over yeah good point yeah like I don't know an IPA or whatever people are drinking these days yeah yeah I guess when you think about it it's, it's, their, it's the quickest way to like you know their party fix yeah but yeah I remember that 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 these two stuck with me Calimocho and Sangria and so every once in a while, probably a couple times a year, I'll make some sangria. Um, now, if you let this sit for, you know, whatever, you don't have to finish the whole pitcher. Just toss it in the fridge, let it sit for 24 hours, 48 hours. I've sometimes left mine 48 hours. You get a nice integration with the fruit. And, you know, sometimes you can sit there and just eat the fruit and it's like, that's it. And just get drunk off the fruit. <laughs> hey, I've done it before. <laughs> All depends on how much <laughs> rum you put in your sangria. Yeah, and I'm guilty for adding too much. <laughs> yes. It's the rum queen here. <laughs> Salud. Salud. Mm. Well, now that you told me about this calimocho, I yeah. hope I'm saying that, saying yeah, it the yeah. right way. Your next segment should be on. Oh, should do a calimocho. <laughs> yes. Okay, calimocho coming up. <laughs> that would be an easy one. <laughs> Oh, I have some of that uh, Coca-Cola from Mexico, the one where they use natural cane sugar. That's the best Coca-Cola. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we can play around with that one, make calimocho. Yeah. Happy Sangria Day. Happy Sangria Day. <laughs> so there it is, wine snobs. Uh, how to make sangria. Keep it simple, keep it basic. A couple fruits, some wine, nothing too fancy. Um, some rum or some brandy. Again, nothing too fancy. Um, it's budget friendly. Yes, budget <laughs> friendly. Um, it's fun making it with friends. So, you know, have company over and make some sangria and hang out, put some music on and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite sangria recipe is. I'll post a link to the blog with this recipe as well. Um, I'd love to know how you make your own sangria so we can share them. Let me know if you'd like me to share them on the blog as well. And uh, cheers, wine snobs. Cheers, wine snobs. <laughs> <laughs>